welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make an animated GIF in GIMP. To start off with, first you need to open up GIMP and then you need to click on File, New. And you now need to choose a width and a height that you want your GIF file to be. I'm just going to go ahead with, let's say, 150 and then 150. Just be careful on the width and height size because GIMP can be a little bit funny if you do the image size too big. I'm now going to go OK. And there we go, this is our new file. And I do have a black background there. I'm just going to actually fill that with a white background. There we go. I'm now going to select the text tool because I'm going to use text for my GIF, but you can use whatever you want. You can use text, you could do an image GIF, you can do anything. I'm now going to click and simply type CS and change the color to black. There we go, we can now see that. And I'm actually going to leave that there. That's absolutely fine because this is just an example. As you can see on the right hand side here, we have two layers. We have my background layer and we have layer one. If I hide layer one, you can see the background layer. And if I re-show layer one, it now moves back to the top, CS, which is absolutely fine. That's the sort of effect we're gonna have in this GIF. If you want to add the time of which layer shows, then all you need to do is double click on the layer and you now need to do a open bracket and type in the time in milliseconds. For example, I'm going to do 2000 MS and then close bracket. I'm now going to do the same for the bottom layer as well. Open bracket 2000 MS close bracket there we go that means these layers are going to take 2000 milliseconds to show each one you don't have to put a time on the layer but and then GIMP will do this automatically for you also you can have as many layers as you want I forgot to say that you can go absolutely wild we now need to click on file and go export as and you now need to choose where you'd like to save your GIF to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And you now need to select Select File Type at the bottom here. And we now need to scroll down until we find GIF. And once you have, you now need to press Export. And you can now go ahead and press Crop if it does come up with Crop because you will need to. And you now have a few different options. You need to first select As animation otherwise it will not export as a gif animation and you can now choose a delay between frames where unspecified and we can leave the rest blank or you can tick the options if you want I'm going to go ahead and press export and once that has finished exporting you can now go ahead and open up your gif and there we go. As you can see, my GIF is working absolutely fine. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.